Welcome to our next FinTech Hot Seat. This is Bob Stark from Kariba, and I am Stephanie Villatoro with Strategic Treasure. This hot seat's gonna be on the future of treasury. So Bob, I've heard a lot of buzzwords about AI and people coming and talking to us about the future of treasury. So what do you see that's happening with, with data and the decisioning process around the data, as well as intelligence when it comes to AI? I think the key thing around the future of treasury is being more informed, being more empowered, being more intelligent, which all sound like very marketing terms and almost very cliche, but there is something to that. And the tools of tomorrow from a technology perspective are really there to allow us to be more insightful with the information we use and the decisions that we make. Now, those technologies, you're thinking, okay, how is that even possible? Well, let's start with just something simple like business intelligence. It's a cliche term we've heard a lot. There's a lot of tools that are business intelligence, but really what it comes down to is processing more information through data visualizations, through KPIs, through multiple drill downs, not static reports, and allowing us to actually get to something where the report starts answering questions. Not us answering questions by looking at a report, but actually using the tool itself to start answering the questions itself, which sounds almost backwards when I say it like that, but the power of visualization is huge, and that's where all these business intelligence tools that you keep hearing about, you know, whether they're in treasury management systems or the ERPs, it's really taking all of this extra data. Every time we use data, we get more and more and more. We generate more every day. Mm -hmm. So being able to look at that information, harness that information, and actually start saying, huh, I can actually use that for my forecasting. I can actually use that to make assessments about my working capital. These are the sorts of things we talk about with business intelligence. Okay, so that's more of that business intelligence. How does that relate to AI or artificial intelligence, and what is the difference between it? Well, there's actually different theories on that. So I'll start with just the basics of artificial intelligence and robotic process. So obviously as there's more information, the first thing, as I've said with business intelligence, is making sense of it. How can I look at that? We're all visual people, so that's why you start with that business intelligence. It's finding different ways to make conclusions with new and larger sets of information. Now, part two of that is, well, what can my technology do in terms of providing more automation around that? And that's where we start to get into this world of robotic process, you know, the treasury bots that are meant to automate more than what we see today. So the base uh, robotic process automation, or RPA, really focuses on how can I have my treasury bot, not an actual robot like as tall as you and me <laughs> that you dress up in a cubicle, I don't mean that kind of bot, I really, what I mean, a bot in terms of a software program that's designed to be very algorithmic, process-oriented, and effectively programmed to do what we do all day. Now, I say programmed to do what we do all today, it was thought of in advance. You know, if you think of all the steps you go through, the post-it notes you write up for someone when you go on vacation, please do all these things for treasury, you know, for cash, for reconciliation, whatever have you, the treasury, the cash manager's role, if you can write that out, it can be programmed into a bot, and that robotic process effectively takes what we see in automation in a treasury management system to the next level. So treasury management systems obviously have automated much of cash management. The idea behind treasury robots, not yet today, but the idea behind it is to really go to that next level and provide significantly more automation. Now, that was first part of your answer. Second part is, what does artificial intelligence mean? Most people suggest artificial intelligence is when the actual robotic software starts to learn. Learn from itself, learn from the data. So it actually allows us, or allows it, to be able to become smarter and more intelligent, hence artificially intelligent, by being able to, let's just say, create new fraud detection rules, or be able to create and identify new investment opportunities on its own without us having to tell it basically replicating that experience of a treasury professional. That's really where we get into this idea of artificial intelligence. Now, even going to some of the sessions today, there's people that blur that line for artificial intelligence. They will say robotic process automation is artificial intelligence. There's schools of thought that will say that. Um, generally speaking, it's usually that line of artificially intelligent is where the software actually learns from its own experience, really what we know is data and it learns from that information so that it can basically identify, here is an exception that I resolved in this way last time, now I'm gonna resolve it all on my own, I don't need my human's help to do that. 
Okay. It sounds very interesting from the standpoint of AI and learning and automating because Treasury is all about automation because they don't want to do that day-to-day -day data management. They want to be more strategic. So where do you see Treasury groups going with this artificial intelligence and the future, say, I don't know, five, 10, you tell me, 15 years? Where, where is that going to land, the Treasury group at that point? Sure. In 10 years, let's just say I'm on the Treasury management system side. A TMS will be a self-learning robot within 10 years. Now, that's an interesting statement. There's a lot of things that go on in just saying that. But the idea behind Treasury technology is that it will automate more and it will be able to do more of the traditional Treasury roles by itself without our intervention, which basically takes your point of we want to get more strategic. We want to get on beyond the data, beyond the processing, beyond the basic decision making. We want to actually start setting policies, setting procedures, and then let the robots, if you want to call it that way, do the work. That's really where Treasury is going to go if this technology evolves the way we expect. Now, we're still in early days. I mean, keep in mind, a robotic process software, the examples that exist out there, most of them don't even do most of what a TMS does right now, yet. But that's yet because the technology is evolving. So as it gets to that point, you're gonna find that the traditional role of a cash manager, just like it was very different 20 years ago than it is today, in another 10 years, maybe in five years, but certainly in 10 years, you're gonna find that that role becomes very different. They're not processing the cash. They're not looking at the cash and going, oh, it's time to make an investment. They're identifying, was that the best investment policy for us? How effective are we at actually achieving return? What's our working capital metric? In fact, maybe some of those decisions and analyses are already being performed by the robotic software. So maybe even our vision of what Treasury is going to be from a day-to-day -day process standpoint is going to be even more advanced than what we're thinking right now. But the idea is that data, process, automation, all of that should be done by the technology, freeing us up to do more, how do we do things better? How do we optimize? That's very interesting. So how do you think in the short term this is going to impact, because I think a change management, it's not when it's changing, it's how it's changing, because it's a constant. Change in Treasury is a constant. So in the short term, what do you, what do you see how Treasury can prepare for this upcoming change? <laughs> well, it's a very good point. I, I think seeing is believing, and there's a lot of hearing, but not seeing yet. So. Part of it is you, you want to know, what is it? Is this really going to happen? I think that's the first question that every Treasury team that I talk to, there's a lot of skepticism. Much like you're looking at me right now, you're like, I'm not so sure about that. But the reality is that we, we both know that there's some opportunity. We don't know exactly what it's going to look like. We don't know if one year from now, a Treasury robot suddenly can replicate an entire TMS and do everything from a cash standpoint for the first four hours of a cash manager's day. Maybe that's possible in one year, maybe it's possible in two or three. But the point is that we think it will happen. As it starts to occur, that's when we can start adjusting. And so it'll be little bits, it'll be an evolution rather than just a big bang approach. Even with Treasury technology, it's gonna be the same way. It's, it's not gonna be effective if, oh, our Treasury management system's obsolete, rip it out, start a new one. The idea is that, especially with cloud software, you can start building these components into the system so it evolves over time. So that that statement I said, a TMS is a self-learning robot within 10 years, it's not just, all right, 10 years is up, let's do it. It's slowly, each component became more and more artificially intelligent. That's awesome. Well, I'd like to thank you for coming today. If you have any last words, we'd be open to hearing that for today, but it's a very interesting topic to talk about AI and robotics and Treasury and how that's going to impact the world that I've seen since I started in Treasury. And that had to do with dial-up just to age me a little bit. So <laughs> if you remember dialing up to your banks, some of us here will remember that, some of us won't. But, um, but thank you very much, Bob. It was a great session. I hope to hear more from you very soon. Thank you very much, Stephanie. I appreciate the opportunity. Thanks.